angry guy here. And three out of four women can't afford food, rent, or basic survival expenses. Three out of four women can't afford basic survival expenses. This includes food, water, rent, and everything that comes with it. It's insane. You have a lot of modern women that, you know, said they were boss babes. They could do bad all on their own. And yet we are looking at extreme, extreme economic hardships for modern women. If you see the article on the screen, the mounting pressure on women poll finds biggest challenges facing women across the country and if we discuss just a bit of it if we talk a little bit about of some of these statistics some of the things that we have and maybe i'll show it to you like uh give you guys a little bit of a visualization of what women are actually facing because there's a lot of dishonesty right now you have a lot of older women telling young women that they're happy being single and they don't need a man women in their 70s the old feminists are still doing this so this is what i have Currently more than half. So that's more than out of so that that's 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 a massive number. We're actually pushing closer to three out of every four women that are reporting this. More than half of American women are facing financial challenges, making it difficult for them to plan for a secure retirement. Let's delve into this into the details. Economic pessimism. Approximately 60% of women express pessimism about the economy, reflecting their concerns about financial stability. Worsening financial situations. 56% of women report that their financial situation has worsened in recent years, indicating increased financial strain. Drastic measures. Due to financial difficulties, women have taken drastic steps, such as cutting back on dining out, as 67% have reduced restaurant visits, trimming grocery expenses, 48% have cut back on groceries, delay or canceling health screenings, 18% have postponed preventative health checkups. That's a, that's a very serious statistic right there because that can result in higher rates of mortality. And as we know, Gen, uh, Genera- Gen X, not Gen X, correction, Gen Z and and millennial women have the shortest lifespans now since we've been born in 1928. And it's amazing because you have groups that are trying to lie about this and deny it. Younger women, nearly 40% of younger women can barely meet monthly expenses and struggle to save for unexpected cost. Additionally, 20% of young women find it challenging to make ends meet consistently, consistently. And these findings highlight the pressing financial concerns faced by women across different age groups. While women recognize the challenges, they also believe that women, that women political leaders understand their struggles and can contribute to solving the national, the nation's problems. So basically throwing more money at it, which is, I, I I just don't know what the heck they are thinking. Looking at the article right here. If we delve into it a bit, so as the world celebrates International Women's Day, there is new cause for concern. More women are feeling dread, worry, and burnout and are facing worsening financial pressure. Even as, even as inflation continues to ease, new polling shows the absolute crap. Two of the top three concerns for women are inflation and the economy, according to a survey from Gender on the Ballot, a collaboration between the Barbara Lee Family Foundation and the Women's Women and Pol- Politics Institution at American University and B- Benison Strategy Group. The economy was a political cudgel Republicans did not like. And, uh, you know, and that they basically spoke poorly off during the midterm elections. The survey released on Wednesday and shared early exclusively with USA Today comes after surging inflation led to soaring prices last year, ongoing concerns of a recession and a debt limit crisis brewing in Washington. Despite the the financial pressure, 78% uh, said women political leaders understand the challenges they're facing and 74% said women leaders would help solve the nation's challenges. So basically they think that women, women are going to solve this problem 
their leaders are going to come out and they're going to solve the problem for women by giving them more money, you know, sending more money for women's programs, or we're going to put more money into women's charities and more money into welfare programs. Like, guys, this is madness. This is absolute and utter madness. Okay. Economy concerns. Concerns about the economy remain high for women, with 60% saying they are pessimistic about the economy. Nearly half of women, 47%, said they are anxious or worried about how things are going in the U.S. Only 20% of those surveyed said they were hopeful. Guys, 80% of women are not hopeful. 80% of women have lost hope. 80% of women have lost hope in the U.S. economy and in their future outlook of surviving. 80%. And yet you have modern women out here that are saying, telling these women, you know, older, older women that are telling these women, I lived a wonderful life. I'm by myself. I'm 77 years old. And, you know, I did it. And I'll tell you the peace that I've enjoyed and it's like, bro, most of these women are on fixed incomes. Like, what are you telling these younger women? Like, are you trying, like, like, is this like a setup? Because if men are feeling the pinch and, you know, you have videos of women on TikTok crying and, 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 and basically talking about how hard it is for them to survive. And it's, it's, and then there are women who come to my channel and they go around and they're like, oh, this video is doing harm. We, you know, imagine if younger women see this type of video younger women see this video i'm just talking statistics and about what women themselves are saying they're going through and they're telling me that i need to be silent and for example it's crazy it's like this these women these feminists these these modern women they don't want young women to see anything and when i say young women women in their 20s and 30s you know and that are coming of age it's starting to you know that that will soon be you know college age or entering into the workforce or should be entering into the workforce they don't want these women to see this. They don't want them to look at reality. They want to keep them lost in this, in a state of, uh, of, of dissolution because they made bad decisions themselves. Many of them are childless and single and they are miserable. They are unhappy, but they, but they are trying to drag other women down with them. They want other women to, to live in the same misery that they currently live in. Boy, isn't this beautiful? Like this is a Grand Theft Auto 3 the definitive edition. And I'm just looking at some of the gameplay and I didn't pick up the game because I just felt like, ah, oh, it's older, but it's just, and, and a lot, I didn't get the greatest of reviews, but it just looks so nice. You know, seeing this game after many years, I played this game. It feels like it was back in the nineties, but I guess it was in the early two thousands when it came out, like maybe around 2002, somewhere around there. And it's just, a, it's just crazy seeing the nostalgia. I don't know, guys. You have a lot of men who are now living, are single, living by themselves, and most women don't know what it's like to be alone. They act like they are so, like they are, uh, they're untouchable and unstoppable. Don't the the thing is that they always have some man lined up. There's always some man that is there, and they feel like they that they're fine being by themselves. They're never alone. Modern women are never alone. They have a million different guys around them, and they will call a dude. They will literally call a dude at any given instant or find a dude to be with at any given instant. This is how women operate, and then they say that they're independent. And I will tell you, I've said this once, and I'll say this again. You know, the only thing a woman is 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 the only thing a woman is loyal to are her emotions, and she will choose her emotions over reality. If her emotions tell her that 2 plus 2 equals 5, there is nothing you can do to change her mind. You know, you, we could literally be heading towards the end of uh, the end of humanity, and it's all because a woman is listening to her emotions. And if you and you can tell her, listen, if we do this, it will stop, you know, it'll save us. She'll choose her emotions. She will choose her emotions and literally take, like, allow us to go over that, you know, go over that, uh, you know, the point of no coming back. The only things that a woman is are low is loyal to are her emotions. And it's amazing that women don't understand that in a reality where you are just completely emotionally driven and emotional set, emotionally centric, you know, and you don't look at reality, you don't follow logic or reason, because they believe that their they believe that their emotions are logical and reasonable. Reasonable. This is how you end up with girl math. 
Guys, if you're enjoying the content, please help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Three out of four women can't afford food, rent, or basic survival expenses. What do you guys think about this? I want to know your thoughts. So let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and she.